Hey everybody, I'm Vic and this is Hook, Line and Angler, part five on what it takes to be a tournament fisherman. This is going to be about the boat, truck and trailer preparation for the upcoming season. This is one of the most exciting times for me because I get to pull the old gambler out of storage and take it for a rep. That's right, I said take it for a rep. Anyway, let me go through a few things that I've done to prepare accordingly. First things first would be safety. You want to make sure you've got all the appropriate life jackets, paddles, safety equipment required by law. I've gone through all my electronics, all my gauges on my dash, followed the wiring all the way back to the batteries, make sure I have no corrosion issues. My two Larantz units, they're tied in through an Ethernet cable. I want to make sure that they're functioning properly. As far as the live wells and bilge, I've gone ahead and replaced four pumps this year, two bilge pumps and two live well pumps. You're not fishing any tournaments anywhere unless you have properly functioning live well pumps. So I've gone and changed those to make sure they run flawlessly. As far as the trolling motor goes, I've lubed up all the pivot points. Uh, one thing that I look out for is this rope with the T-handle on it, which is the release and the pull-up. It frays underneath this junction right here. So you got to make sure there's no fraying or that could snap on you. There is, if there is fraying, go ahead and change it so you don't have any problems when you're fishing. As far as your trailer goes, safety first, of course. Check all your lights. If you're by yourself, there's an easy way to check the lighting system. Turn your lights on in your truck, throw your four ways on, do a circle check and make sure everything's functioning properly. I always check my tires. I check for cracks in the sidewall as well as cracks up in the tread. If I see any of that, I'll change the tire because the last thing I want is a flat on the way to a tournament. This unit right here is called a bearing buddy. It allows you to grease the axle bearings uh, through a grease gun. You just put it on the nipple here. I pump it up a couple of times a summer and I'm good to go for the rest of the year. As far as the truck's concerned, same rule applies to the tires. I've gone ahead and put new engine oil, a filter, also transmission fluid and filter. I'm going to be doing a lot of miles this summer. So I've gone ahead and changed all that to make sure I don't have any problems. Well, that pretty much well covers off uh, uh, a truck, boat, and trailer preparation for the upcoming season. Next time we'll be on the water down in uh, Smith Falls on Big Rideau. Look forward to it. Thanks for watching Hook, Line, and Angler TV.